or skinny? Fair skin or dark skin? Black hair or blondy hair? Straight hair or kinky hair? Pointed or flat nose? Everybody is not the same. Everyone look to be on a different frame. People are distinct with different behaviors. Characteristic. Exceptional figures. Specific pictures. And distinct physical structure. My perception differs from yours. And my opinion differs on how you make decisions. Perhaps the things that I enjoy does not fit the things that you adore. Everyone was me in a unique way. Yes, people are diversely created, but there is a point which we can all achieve the same thing. And that is the way we grow and develop. Everyone is the same in the sense that we are all developing. On the other hand, questions, recommendations, and multiple perspectives addressing human development arose, just like indicating the importance of broadening people's perspectives in this regard, anchored to the notion of continuity over discontinuity. Continuity over discontinuity? Why are you so angry? Are you opposed to the fact that it is? Well, I don't think so. Teka, teka! Mukhang masinsin ang usapan to. Hmm, dali na lang kaya natin sa debate. Debate or debate? According to its instruction, each team will have a certain time to present the topic and perspective pertaining to their stand. All team members should present portion of an argument and the opposing team will defend their point of view. The battle can be observed and followed by stating of their final argument. Here are some examples of debate. Vice presidential debate and debate on human development. Lend me your ears in this video presentation. Human development is a branch of psychology with a goal of understanding people. How they develop, grow, and change throughout their lives. Human development the process of growth and change that takes place between birth and maturity also refers to physical, cognitive, and psychosocial development of humans throughout their lifespan. The discontinuity view of the development believes that the people pass through the stage of life are qualitatively different from each other. In contrast, continuity is the idea that the human psychological development is continually progressing without any distinct step along the way. The discontinuity view sees development as a broad, a succession of change that produces different behaviors in different age specific life periods called stages. Psychologists of the discontinuity view believe that people go through the same stages in the same order but not necessarily at the same rate. Additionally, discontinuity explains human development as having a distinct stages. In order to advance, human individual must reach a behavioral goal in order to proceed. On the other hand, the continuity view says that change is gradual. Children become more skillful in thinking, talking, or acting much the same way as they get taller. Specifically, continuity has two facets when it comes to children from birth to age 8. First, it denotes the consistency of children's experience across diverse care and education settings as they grow up. Furthermore, Viewed in this way, the vertical continuity of high-quality learning experience for children over time 
includes the alignment of learning expectations, curricula, and other instructional strategies, assessments, and learning environments to ensure that they are coherent with each other and grounded in the science of child development and of best practices in instruction and other professional responsibilities. Still yet, theorists who view development as discontinuous believe that development takes place in unique stages. It occurs at specific times or ages. With this type of development, the change is more sudden, such as an infant's ability to conceive object permanence. Qualitative changes, state development changes in kind can suggest discontinuity. They are changes that make the individual fundamentally different in some way. You have a point. Of course. However, continue the theory hold that in making adaptive choice, middle age, and older adults attempt to preserve and maintain existing internal and external structures. And they prefer to accomplish this objective by using strategies time to their past experience of themselves and social world. Change is linked to the person perceived past, producing continuity in the inner psychological characteristic as well as in social behavior and in social circumstances. Continuity is thus a grand adaptive strategy that is promoted by both individual, preference, and social approval. Nevertheless, this continuous development, however, is categorical and refers to changes in stages. An example here would be Piaget's stage of cognitive development. For instance, sensory motor and pre-operational. Development as a whole is a combination and interaction of these two types. Nonetheless, scientists who argue that development is continuous in nature point to slow and cumulative changes we experience in the amount or degree of skills, such as a child is slowly gaining experience, expanding his or her vocabulary, and becoming quicker at problem-solving, or a middle-aged adult experiencing gradual losses of muscle and strength. From everything that has been said, you can see that human development is very complex and plays an important aspect of life. It's crucial for everyone to have some short background on this information and to understand that it takes time of each development to develop correctly. The growth from infancy to adulthood is amazing and extremely interesting. When it comes to physical development, we see how it provides children with abilities to explore and interact within the world they live in. Okay. Therefore, with cognitive development, we see the ability of what allows us to think and reason when grasping different concepts. Really? Yes! With language development, we understand how we communicate verbally and non-verbally, how that development over time increases. I don't think so. In psychosocial development, we see how emotion and temperament play out individually as well as when we are reacting to others. <laughs> With this flow, we can reach a reasonable end. How about we call it a truce for now? I bet. Okay. <laughs> Every people has their own kind of perception and opinion. Who go for continuity? And who go for discontinuity? How can you view human development? Is it like a seedling or is it like a caterpillar? <laughs>